No other group of people can say that they've taken off and landed on an aircraft carrier. Naval flight officers fly pretty much any fixed wing aircraft that the Navy has today. F-18 Super Hornets, E-18G Growlers, uh, P-8 Poseidons, E-2 Hawkeyes. There are lots of misconceptions whenever I tell anybody I'm a naval flight officer, they're like, oh, you're, you're a pilot, that's awesome. Pilots do the flying and the NFOs kind of run the rest of the mission. They navigate, communicate. They are, in many cases, the final release control for the weapons. In fighter jets, they'll be in charge of setting up targeting for dropping bombs. We sit in the back seat of a jet, fly around, and uh, control uh, jamming odds. For the PA Poseidon, uh, NFOs are primarily tasked with uh, trying to find submarines. All right, crew, running through the on-station checklist here. Swap report not required today. Altitude will go as brief at 5,000 feet. Radar iffy is M Kilo Alpha. 10 seconds out to next buoy drop. Contact bearing 094. RF 57. Buoy way now, now, now. Now, Hawkeye uh, NFOs generally run navigation and also uh, they'll kind of be like an air traffic controller. Eventually you become a mission commander leading strike packages and stuff like that from the back seat. You move planes around with your voice, so to speak. You're, you're always learning the next thing uh, that's coming down the pipe. For people who are good at multitasking, uh, people who are good with video games, in the back seat of the growler, we've got two joysticks and we have to use our, our thumbs and fingers to make things happen. So it's a, it's a really dynamic job. You don't need to be the smartest person in the room if you have a good head on your shoulders and you're able to make quick decisions. Cooperation in the cockpit, I think, defines a good leader.